So hey there everyone welcome back i hope you all are doing extremely well so in this video we are going to learn about the bubble sort algorithm so in the previous video in the dsa series we had seen the insertion sort algorithm so if you had not seen the video yet so you can check it out in the playlist so let's start with our bubble sort so let's see what is a bubble sort algorithm so basically it sorts uh, in this sorting takes an unordered collection and makes it an ordered one so basically bubble sort it is also the simplest sorting algorithm that works by repeatedly swapping the adjacent elements right so in this we swap the adjacent elements repeatedly right so if they are in the wrong order so basically this algorithm is not suitable right for large data sets because its average and worst case time complexity are quite high so we'll see right so here it is uh, it uses a simple algorithm so it sorts by comparing each pair of adjacent items and swapping them in the order so this will be repeated until no swaps are needed right so the algorithm got its name from the way smaller elements means bubble to the top of the list so it is not that much efficient when a list is having more than a few elements right so among simple sorting algorithms algorithms like insertion sort we have discussed are usually considered as a more efficient right so bubble sort is little slower compared to other sorting techniques but it is easy because it deals with only two elements at a time right adjacent elements so here let's say we have an array given so tra we'll traverse a collection of elements and we'll move from the front to the end right so we'll bubble the largest value to the end using pairwise comparisons right and we'll swap them so for example so here we'll traverse a collection of elements from left to right so first we have pairs as 42 and 77 so we'll check if they are in the right order or not if they are in ascending order or not right so so first we have 42 and 77 so they are already in the increasing order right so after that so we had now 77 we have now 77 and 35 right so as you can see 77 is greater than 35 so 77 should be come after 35 right so we'll swap them we'll swap them right so now we'll compare 77 and 12 we'll compare 77 and 12 right so 77 is still greater than 12 so we'll swap them so now 12 is at its right position similarly we'll keep swapping right so now we have 77 and 101 so they are already in, in the increasing order, right? 77 is less than 101. So we'll not swap them, right? So no need to swap, right? So now we have 101 and 5. 101 and 5. So we'll swap them, right? So in this way, we'll keep traversing, right? So you can see here, 101 should be at the end, right? Because it is largest among all the values in the array. So largest value we have placed at the end, right? So here is the explanation. So in each pass, we compare adjacent elements and we'll swap them if they are out of order, right? Until the end of the list. So by doing so, the first pass ends up bubbling up the largest element to the last position on the list, right? So and so on, we'll keep doing the passes, right? So in second pass, bubbles up the second largest element and so on. After n minus one passes, the list will be sorted. List will be sorted, right? So here is our bubble sort algorithm right so basically what we are doing is we are running a nested for loop right to traverse the input array given so using let's say we'll take two variables let's say i and j right such that i will be greater than or equal to zero and uh, less than n minus one and j will be also greater than or equal to zero less than n minus i minus one right so what we'll do is if array of if array of j or you can say if array of index is greater than array of index plus one right so we'll swap these elements we'll swap these elements right else we'll move on right and we'll print the sorted array at last so more clearly it would be let's say we are taking two variables i and j so we'll run two nested loops from i is equal to zero to n minus one i plus plus so for j is equal to 0 j less than n minus i minus 1 j plus plus so if our array of j let's say we have two elements so if uh, if our this element 
is greater than the second element so we'll swap them right because we need in sorted order the array given we need in sorted order so if our array of j is greater than array of j plus 1 so what we'll do is we'll swap we'll swap our array of j and our array of j plus 1 right so at last in this way we'll print our our sorted array i hope the algorithm is clear now right so why we are repeating the process here so here notice that only the largest value is correctly placed in the one pass right all other values are still out of order so we need to repeat the process so in each iteration we are placing only one element at its right position right so we need n minus 1 passes right so how many times will repeat this bubble up so if we have n elements and if each time we bubble an element we place it in the correct location right so then we repeat the bubble up process n minus 1 times right n minus 1 times so because this will guarantee that will correctly place all the n elements at their right position so you can visualize here so in the very first pass in the very first pass we have correctly placed our 101 the first largest element greatest element in the second pass the second largest ele element was at is at uh, its correct position then 42 third largest fourth largest right fifth largest so how many passes we have done so here array size is 1 2 3 4 5 6 n is 6 so in how many passes we have done n minus 1 passes 1 2 3 4 5 so n minus 1 passes we need to sort the list in ascending order right so what we have learned in this bubble sort algorithm so bubble sort algorithm will move our largest value to its correct location to the right right so we'll repeat bubble up until all the elements are correctly placed so how many passes we need maximum of n minus one times and uh, we can easily visualize one thing in the worst uh, when we'll get the worst time when the list is in descending order let's say five four three two one then it uh, then to sort this in ascending order that will be our worst case time complexity right so we reduce the number of elements we compare each time one is correctly placed so if we talk about its if we talk about its time and space complexity so time complexity will be as we are running two nested loops right so in each pass we are iterating the whole array so it will be big o of n square right time complexity will be big o of n square and since we are not using any space we are doing in place so it's big of one so this big of n square time complexity will be even when our array is sorted because it's use the comma right because it will take big of n square if the array is sorted also right so we can optimize this by stopping the algorithm if our inner loop doesn't co cause any swap if our inner loop doesn't cause any swap then we can reduce this time complexity otherwise it will be big of n square every time if the array is sorted or not so what we can do is so basically bubble talk uh, bu this bubble sort takes minimum time basically order of n when our elements are already sorted let's say one two three four five right so we we don't need any iterations or swapping so it will be big of n it will only check in one traversing right so it will take big of n time when elements are already sorted so hence so it, it it will be better to check if the array is already sorted or not right before applying this bubble sort right otherwise our time complexity will be big of n square right and this is the in place algorithm right because bubble sort performs the swapping of adjacent pairs without use we are not using any data structure right to store something like stack etc right so it's an in-place algorithm. So we are not using any space. We are doing in-place, right? Hence, bubble sort algorithm is an in-place algorithm, right? And this is also a stable algorithm. Bubble sort is also a stable algorithm, right? So that's it for the bubble sort algorithm. I hope uh, this, this is clear. So in the upcoming video, we'll see the rest of the sorting algorithms and we'll continue this DSA series, right? With from basic to advanced. So please support me. And if you still have any doubt, you can ask in the comment box. So if you like the video, you can comment in the comment box called understood. And I have also uploaded the today's Geeks for Geeks problem of the day. So make sure to check it out. 
so before ending the video i have attached one link in the description box which is for gigs for gigs weekly contest so make sure you all will participate at 7 pm so you can check out the link in the description box so make sure you all will register and participate at exactly 7 pm so let's see at 7 pm so thank you so much for being here so please support me by sharing and subscribing so thank you so much stay tuned for more upcoming dsa videos right